This video was sponsored by Skillshare. How's it going everybody? Too spooky here, and welcome back to One Piece Explained, where we take an in-depth look at various aspects of the One Piece world. This time around, we're doing things a little bit differently. Over the course of One Piece's run, spanning over a thousand chapters in the manga and closing in on 1,000 episodes in the anime, Luffy has no doubt had a metric frick ton of techniques he's demonstrated over the course of the series. Some of these techniques show up constantly, while others have only been used once or twice and have since faded into obscurity. So what I want to do in this video today is take a look back at some of Luffy's old and forgotten techniques to see what they were all about at the time. And in the process, we can judge if there's a reason these techniques were forgotten, or if maybe, they deserve a comeback. On that note, since Luffy has so many techniques, and quite a few that were used very scarcely as it is, I decided to narrow it down a bit, so we're only going to be looking at 10 forgotten techniques in total. And I made sure to pick out only the very best Luffy had to offer. We'll also be going in order of these techniques' appearance, going from those that were demonstrated early on up until the most recent. The first one we're going to be looking at is called Gomu Gomu no Ozuchi, otherwise known as Gum Gum Giant Gavel. This technique was demonstrated during Luffy's battle against Don Krieg. After failing to defeat Krieg with a Gum Gum Bazooka mid-air, Krieg caught Luffy in a steel net in an attempt to halt his attacks and plunge him into the sea. However, Luffy was able to stick his arms and legs through the net, allowing him to twist his legs all the way down to Krieg, wrap his feet around his head, and then let them unwind while plunging him to the ground with great force, defeating him in the process. The way I see it personally, as the series has progressed, Luffy has relied a lot less on attacks that involve grabbing hold of his opponent, so I already can't see this one making a comeback from that point alone. But in addition to that, rather than using the twist of his limbs to disorient his opponents, Luffy instead found better ways to use the twisting of his rubber body to create force as the series progressed, with the most prominent example being the Gum Gum Rifle. So overall, I think the Gum Gum Giant Gavel was rightfully left in the past, just like Don Krieg. Remember when this man said he was the strongest man in the world? The second one we're going to be looking at is called Gomu Gomu no Ikibana, otherwise known as Gum Gum Bouquet. This technique was demonstrated upon the crew's arrival in the Grand Line against Laboon. In an attempt to get Laboon's attention, Luffy took the entire mast of the Going Merry and plunged that f right into one of Laboon's soft spots, causing him to spout a frick ton of blood, and all it really did was massively piss off Laboon as a result. So, for one, <laughs> this special forgotten technique of Luffy's wasn't even what we could consider, you know, successful, but it also requires an outside tool, being the mast of the Going Merry, which, as we know, Luffy can't just go grab anymore, because, well, I mean, if you're watching this, you probably don't care about spoilers, but the Merry f***ing died! Massive F in the comments, by the way. So, yeah this technique also should not make a comeback anytime soon. Unless, of course, Luffy wants to go steal the mast of other ships and stab it right through his opponents. I mean, you know, that would actually be pretty metal, the more that I think about it, so I don't know. Maybe it should come back after all. You guys tell me what you think. The third one we're going to be looking at is called Gomu Gomu no Bowgun, otherwise known as Gum Gum Bowgun or sometimes Gum Gum Crossbow. This technique was demonstrated against Wapple at the climax of the Drum Island arc. This one is a bit similar to the giant gavel we talked about earlier, Boy! in the sense that Luffy grabs his opponent and twists his body before unraveling. Though the notable difference with Bowgun is that Luffy twists his entire torso vertically, grabs his opponent with his feet, and uses the momentum from untwisting to propel his opponent high into the air. This was performed successfully to subdue Wapple by... Wapple. This was performed semi-successfully to subdue Wapple by getting him stuck in the roof of the castle, so that Luffy could send him flying with a different attack after climbing up there. 
Much like Giant Gavel, I think my points for that one also apply to this one when it comes to the outdated grabbing and twisting techniques. You know, that kind of sounds dirty now that I say it out loud. But honestly, in comparison, this one is even less useful because it takes much more preparation and does significantly less damage. Plus, if you're trying to use it as an actual attack, you basically have to be indoors or just hope that gravity is enough to take out your opponent. Because fundamentally, its purpose is just to propel someone into the air. So bottom line, Gum Gum Bogun can stay forgotten. The fourth one we're going to be looking at is called Gomu Gomu no Baku Baku, otherwise known as Gum Gum Munch Munch. This technique was demonstrated against Crocodile during his first altercation with Luffy. Crocodile, being a Logia in early One Piece, obviously had the upper hand by far, forcing Luffy to try anything he could to land a hit, then bringing out the Gum Gum Munch Munch to literally eat Crocodile's upper half. However, Crocodile was able to break out of Luffy's jaw and eventually took him down. This one is actually a bit interesting to me, because this attack could actually be really f***ing good if Luffy had a strong jaw. I mean, just looking at how it was demonstrated initially, Luffy did have Crocodile absolutely deep-throated for a good second there. So if this man wasn't a quitter, he could have swallowed Crocodile right then and there, and saved everyone a lot of trouble! This man does know how to eat, after all. But even thinking of how this could be applied later in the series, Luffy could theoretically coat his teeth in hockey and just bite any Logia user he'd come across to basically kill them on the spot. I know that's just wishful thinking, but I'm just saying, this technique is actually extremely underrated, and I think it deserves a comeback immediately. The fifth one we're going to be looking at is called Gomu Gomu no Bo, otherwise known as Gum Gum Space Out. This technique was demonstrated against Inel. Having to deal with his mantra, or observation hockey, Luffy was having difficulty dodging his attacks successfully, until realizing there was a way he could dodge after all, using Gum Gum Space Out to basically turn off his brain completely, and instead dodge everything strictly upon instinct. The main downfall being that he can't attack at all while spacing out. I think this one is yet another that shouldn't come back anytime soon, because being able to dodge attacks on instinct is basically just the fundamental ability of Luffy's observation hockey anyway, so since his fight with Anel, he's found a new way to keep his brain moving and still use his instincts to dodge attacks with his hockey. That said, I wouldn't mind seeing this one again just to see that stupid look on Luffy's face. The sixth one we're going to be looking at is called Gomu Gomu no Mikata Robo, otherwise known as Gum Gum Ally Robot. This technique was demonstrated while Luffy was storming the gates of Eni's lobby. While taking out a bunch of the fodder, he ended up using Gum Gum Ally Robot against a helpless marine guard. To perform this technique, Luffy wraps his arms and legs around his opponent's arms and legs, essentially using his overwhelming strength to take complete control over their limbs and use them as his own. This technique additionally grants him two other abilities called the Ally Robot Kick and the Ally Robot Punch that Luffy used to take out various marines. Luffy also notably released his grip on the marine as soon as he was about to be struck, forcing the marine he controlled to take the blow instead. I know earlier I kind of mentioned how grabbing techniques were a bit outdated for Luffy, but out of all of them we talked about so far, this is by far the one that deserves a comeback the most. I know it's not exactly easy for Luffy to take control of just anybody's limbs, but now being the fifth Yonko, I think Luffy could still use this technique to his advantage against a significant pool of opponents. It may seem like a bit of a joke, because, well, I mean, it is a joke, but this technique is actually pretty underrated, and I hope it makes even a brief comeback sometime soon. The seventh one we're going to be looking at is called Gomu Gomu no Gigant Jet Shell, otherwise known as Gum Gum Giant Jet Shell. This technique was demonstrated against Gekko Moria. This technique is actually an extremely unique one, as it combines both Gear 2nd and Gear 3rd, something that in general hasn't been done together very much at all. And considering this was demonstrated before the time skip, using this technique gives Luffy quite the hefty list of drawbacks. That said, at the time of its use, this would have been considered Luffy's strongest attack. In terms of what exactly this technique does, Luffy uses Gear 2nd to increase his speed and Gear 3rd to fill up the bones in his chest, before launching himself into his opponent in the form of a giant cannonball. It should also be noted that although this was Luffy's strongest technique at the time, it still took two uses of this technique to take Moria down. As far as if this forgotten technique deserves a comeback, I personally think with Luffy's new strength and mastery over Gear 2nd and 3rd, I don't see why it shouldn't. 
I mean, even now during his battle against Kaido, and unlocking this new destructive application of Conqueror's Hockey, using his entire body as a hockey-infused, gigantic, speeding cannonball could be quite the destructive ability. I hope we see it or something very similar to it again before the series is complete. Considering it's a former strongest technique, it's a little weird that we haven't seen anything like it again. The eighth one we're going to be looking at is called Gomu Gomu no Haragi, otherwise known as Gum Gum Belly Talk. This technique was demonstrated against the Kuja, and it can basically be summed up as a unique dance from Luffy to swoon the ladies. All things considered, I'm down for this one to come back just to see more of Luffy's dank dance moves, but that's about it. <laughs> The ninth one we're going to be looking at is called Gomu Gomu no Jet Migawadi, otherwise known as Gum Gum Jet Human Shield. This technique was demonstrated against Mihawk at Marineford. When it comes to how this technique works, Luffy uses his gear second speed to grab a nearby individual, in this case being Buggy, and uses them as a human shield against an attack that would otherwise hit him. In this case, because Buggy has the Chop Chop Fruit, he was able to take Mihawk's Sword Slash head on and take absolutely no damage. Additionally, this technique has a non-gear second variant, which involves Luffy throwing someone, in this case Buggy once again, at his opponent so that he can make a getaway. I would absolutely love if this technique came back in some form down the line, as seeing Luffy use anyone as a human shield is hilarious to me personally. But I do have to say, even after using Buggy as a meat shield twice, and attempting to use this technique as a method of escape, Mihawk was still able to keep hunting Luffy down until Vista stepped in to distract Mihawk instead. So I think if Luffy were to tweak this technique slightly, it could be a lot better in the future for avoiding attacks or as a method of escape. So I say this forgotten technique deserves a comeback as soon as possible. Now the 10th and final forgotten technique we're going to be looking at is called Gomu Gomu no UFO, otherwise known as Gum Gum UFO. This is the only technique present, post-time skip, that I feel has only been used once and already been forgotten. It was demonstrated against some fodder during Punk Hazard, and to perform this technique, Luffy twists his legs together mid-air before releasing them, causing them to swing in a spiral motion that allows him to hover off the ground all the while his spinning feet act as powerful attacks against anyone he runs into. Personally, I feel like this is one of Luffy's most unique techniques, but also one of his absolute worst. I guarantee you, if I asked anyone aside from Tekken 101 if they remembered this technique, they'd say I was just making it up and it didn't exist. And for good reason! That said, thinking a little bit outside the box, if there were a Gear 3rd variant of this technique, it could actually be quite freaking deadly. But until that happens, Gum Gum UFO should remain unidentified and forgotten. But there you have it everybody, a look back at some of Luffy's forgotten techniques. Which of those techniques do you think should come back? Which ones should stay forgotten? And which were your favorites? Let me know in the comment section below. While you're at it, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe with those notifications on so you don't miss the next one. On that note, I've been working on multiple massive video projects, hence the lack of uploads in general, so stay tuned, I've got some big boys on the way. Follow me on Twitter at 2SpookyTube to keep up with the channel, and follow me on Twitch at 2Spookster to catch some awful live streams. Now before we go, let's have a word from our sponsor who made this video possible, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in never-ending creativity. They offer classes for a wide variety of creative mediums at any skill level, such as music, video, film, graphic design, and so much more. When it comes to video making, I use Photoshop quite a bit. So I've been taking a class called Adobe Photoshop CC Advanced Training Course by Daniel Scott to learn some more stuff about the program and overall improve my video making and thumbnails. He also has a beginner course on the program if you need somewhere to start. Skillshare always puts learning first, meaning there are always new classes being added and no advertisements, to help keep all those creative juices flowing. It's also extremely affordable, at under $10 per month with an annual subscription. But luckily for you guys, the first 1,000 of my subscribers that follow the link in the description get a free trial of premium membership so you can follow those creative passions right off the bat. I can't recommend it enough and I implore you to check them out. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring the video and thank you for watching. See you all soon with a new video. I just need some clarity.